Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to the FAQ about me. Um, details of of what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, I saw the the video that Dan Ball did, and it was really. Uh, I thought it was really quite brave because it's the internet, and you do get a lot of people who, you know will just be cocks because they want to be cocks and you put a video out kind of burying your soul like he did which was really brave and and uh it kind of gave you a bit of an insight into his life and you know you know there are going to be people who are just like you're a twat you're over you know you're over dramatizing things to get views or subscribers or you know people do do that but um no I don't, <laughs> that video was not like that at all. Um, and yes, yeah, it's, it's brave to put out a video like that. So, I've been thinking about doing something similar, because every now and then I have people who pick up on my, you know, little veiled references to what's fucked up with me. And uh, that, Dan's video made me think that actually, yeah, I should do it. And there's also been a couple of other... Um, incidents, which has made me think that it's probably a good idea to to get it out there so that you guys know. Um, screw everyone else, you know, new people turning up, if they find the video, they find the video. But for all of my current subscribers, it's best if you know, you know, just in case. <laughs> um, so first off, here's Dan's uh, video. Go check it out, give him some love and support. Maybe one of you guys know has had a similar problem and had it fixed, so... It's worth it's worthwhile checking it out. You might be able to help him. Um, okay, so we're going to go on to my problem, and the reason that I'm doing this video, one of the reasons, aside from being impressed by Dan's video and wanting to uh, to get my stuff out there as well, is that um, my my doctor recently died. Uh, my doctor, who it lives miles and miles and miles away from me, he's a specialist. Uh, he actually put himself out there and risked his career to help people with the same problems that I have. And uh, yeah, he died recently and he was prescribing me my medication. Um, so it's possible I'm going to be cut off and things are going to get much, much worse. Okay, so <clears throat> what's wrong with me is that I have a underactive thyroid. Uh, it's this kind of gland right here and it regulates chemicals and shit around the body. I'm not going to try I'm going to try and avoid being too technical. I'm going to give you the basic kind of it's a chemical thing and basically mine not only doesn't produce enough thyroxine enough, you know, enough chemicals, it also processes the the chemicals bat poorly. So it's kind of doubly fucking me. Um, and basically what this, what this does is it gives me, um, anxiety, depression, uh, panic attacks, um, a fair amount of OCD and weird, like, character quirks and, you know, I'm, I'm, agri I'm, I'm, I'm agoraphobic, I'm claustrophobic, you know, any kind of phobia is kind of possible because what it does is it, with the with the anxiety with the panic attacks i get this like massive injection of fucking adrenaline right into my system you know and uh, i don't know if if you've ever um if you've ever kind of walked around a corner almost bumped into someone you know been driving almost hit like a an, a cat or a rabbit that's run out into the road you know you get that kind of like burst where it's just like poof, and you get the adrenaline in your system um, it's like that for me, and uh, I'm a lot better now, but way back when I was, when I hadn't figured out what was wrong with me, um, I'd get this massive burst of adrenaline, and it wouldn't go away. I'd spend hours and hours with that adrenaline, like, coursing through me. Uh, I'd have panic attacks, you know, I'd be hyperventilating, um, I'd be kind of like, I'd be, I'd be feeling really off and really weird, and, you know, kind of like, like I was on drugs. And I, you know, the worst part about it was always that I never knew what exactly was wrong with me, because uh, you know I'd go to the doctor and they'd be like, "Yeah, you're depressed," and then try and stick me on antidepressants. 
Um, and I was like, I was refused outright, you know, no antidepressants, it's, you know, it's, it's just going to fuck me up worse. And thank God I didn't get put on antidepressants and, you know, <clears throat> thank God for Dr. Skinner, who we, uh, we got recommended to and he was, he was brilliant and I'm, I'm on this medication, thyroxin. I'm on a giant fucking dose, but I'm on it. And, uh, my, my thyroid doesn't process it properly, but still it works to the point where I can exist and I can, <clears throat> sorry, it works to the point where I can exist, can exist and I can go and have a vaguely normal life. Uh, not completely, not completely. I mean, I still have my issues. I still, you know, I'll be doing a stream, I'll be doing a video and I'll have like a burst of adrenaline and I'll kind of, I'll be really panicky. And the point always is, is that, you know, a lot of people think it's only psychological it's not it's chemical as well um you know so i've i've had to deal with a lot of people with the kind of with you know they get they get that kind of look in your eye like look in their eye like you know i could deal with this much better than you you know like if i had this problem i'd get over it in a day because you know i'll just i'll just you know, use my my superior mind to be like, yeah, that's that's nothing. And see, the thing is, is it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't just you know make you a bit panicky and make you anxious and kind of you know. Um, when I get that burst of adrenaline, it's the fight or flight, but just ridiculously messed up. Like there's nothing to fight and there's nothing to run away from. But I still get this giant urge to run away. So, you know, I'm doing a video, I'm in the middle of it, it's going well, I'm having a laugh, and randomly I'll get this adrenaline, like, you know, just explode in me, and I'll want to run away, you, you know, so there are there are times when I have to actually stop the video, and just go off, and walk around outside, and kind of burn off this fucking random adrenaline that I've got. Um, the other, of course, the other symptoms, uh, I get phantom pains, you know, like, I'll sometimes I'll get a pain and there's nothing wrong with me, you know, um, hypochondria, I'm always worried that I'm ill, you know, I think a lot of people are nowadays, because you get bombarded with, from the media, but, you know, it's, it's always a case of, like, what if I have a brain tumour, or what if I have cancer, or what if I, you know, etc, 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 so, you know, I kind of have to ignore these phantom pains, you know, headaches, and, shooting pains on my arms and my legs and random pins and needles and shit it's it's kind of i've gotten used to it now to the point where unless something is very obviously wrong you know if it's just like shooting pains down my arm i'll be like that's shooting pains down my arm you know it's not um it's not actually anything it's just my body fucked up okay so the thing is is with all of this you know it's really it's really demoralizing and one of the symptoms is depression but it gets made worse because well you know you're you're well you're depressed but also if you if you kind of if you have a day where you know you've got anxiety you've got panic attacks you've got you know OCD you're turning off lights light switches you know I can't eat uh, a lot of food when I'm worried that it's gone off you know, and uh, I'm and I'm always worried about what's on my hands, and you know, yeah. If a light, if if I've got like two light switches by each other, they have to sync up. And back at my folks' house, there's two lights at the bottom of the stairs, and one at the top, and three at the top, and they all do some do the same lights, and some do different lights. And when I went to bed, I always had to get them all like that. And uh, it's better now since the since the medication, but. Um, but yeah, that was a pain in the ass because I'd be running up and down the fucking stairs, trying to get them all lined up. Um, but yeah, so aside from all that, the hardest part about it was always the, you know, you can, you can push yourself, and you can fight this whole feeling of being, you know, kind of weighed down of anxiety and you can do your best for an, for an entire day for an entire night you can push and you can you can you know try to be your best and the next day it's exactly the same and you know i've i've had this problem since since before i had to quit my job as a bouncer 
um, I had this problem for five, six, probably seven, maybe seven or eight years now, uh, that it's really been uncontrollable. You know, it's been it's been fucking up my life completely. And basically, I came out of university. I dropped out of university. Won't go into that because it's not that important. Um, I got a job as a bouncer. Uh, I was making good money, and then I was driving home one day. Um, I, it was I was quite a long way away, and I just had this like panic attack. But I'd never had a proper panic attack before. I'd had kind of, I think I'd had kind of low anxiety, maybe a few panic attacks, but nothing like this. This was like full blown. You know, heart beating, hyperventilating, panicked out of the freaking roof. And I had this panic attack, and I thought I was having a heart attack. You know, I was I was convinced that I was dying, and it was fucking terrifying. And in the end, I couldn't drive anymore. Like, I was so keyed up, my hands were shaking, and I was, you know, I was sweating, and I was... So I called my folks, my folks took me to the hospital... You know, they, the hospital said, there's nothing wrong with you, you're fine, so I went home. And from that kind of day, I was bombarded with, with anxiety and, and panic attacks and just general shit. So, yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's, it's not fun, and back then, I didn't know what was wrong with me. It took me... A good three years to finally find Dr. Skinner, who who helped me out and who uh, who was the only person willing to prescribe me with this, because on on in in the UK where I am, the NHS, you know, they won't they won't acknowledge that I have uh, this this problem. They're like, no, nope, you're fine. You don't need to be medicated, and you know, I clearly do. Um, and, and and yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of move into that now actually because I can't work like a proper nine to five job. I can't do it because I'm always going to be bombarded with the need. You know, if if I'm having a bad day, then the anxiety you know can get away from me. Um, it's always there. Same same with the kind of panic attack stuff. It'll it'll just pop out, and I'll have to stop. And, you know, and I'll have to kind of get away. So you can't do a job where, you know, you never know if you're going to be able to do the damn job. Um, you know, I can, I can, I can do videos because whenever, whenever I, uh, I have the moment, whenever I'm, whenever, uh, at the moment, it used to be that whenever I have the moment where I'm, I'm fine, but now it's, yeah, it's whenever I have the moment when I have anxiety, I can just stop the video and go, well, you know. That's I can I can move I can move off I can stop for a bit, you know I can go and go and have a sit down go and talk to someone you know kind of calm down, and then I'm I'm good and I can get back in, but if I was at a job you know they'd fire me, basically instantly, um, and I can't go on job seekers, because or you know or or job allowance you know I can't get money. <laughs> Um, for being out of work, I can't get my I can't get money for being unemployed because you have to search for a job, and I can't search for a job that I can't do. Basically, you know, I'd have to go in and say to them, I can't do this job, and they'd go, Well, why are you looking for work? And I'd be like, Well, because I need money. Um, and yeah, so there's that, and also um, I don't get any benefits for this you know it's it's because because they refuse to to diagnose me to say I am I do actually have these problems because they refuse to medicate me um, I can't you know I can't be given benefits for not being able to work so I don't get any money like there's no money for me basically um, I do not get benefits I do not get I can't do job seekers I can't I can't get unemployment anything, I can't get work, so it's like this giant shitstorm. And like on top of all that, I I have to get all the medication myself, I have to pay for it, my, well, my parents pay for my medication, because it's fucking expensive. Um, it's actually really ridiculous how expensive it is. Um, and they, yeah, I, lo I love my parents for, for all the support they give me, like I would have been fucked. 
like absolutely fucked if it wasn't for them because they've supported me and kind of put up with me while I've been unable to work, unable to do anything for the last five or six years, pretty much since, I mean, when I got out of university, I, I immediately went into a job, you know, I've been, I've been working since I was 14, on and off, you know, in between school, and uh, when I got out of university, I got a, got, did my, did my SIA license, got a job in security, uh, working as a bouncer, I know, weird, right, but yeah, I was working as a bouncer, making a decent wage, and kind of thinking, you know, maybe a year after dropping out of university, I can move out, rent, and just kind of work my way through life, and then, you know, a good six, well, a good couple of years later-ish, um, I started getting hit with these, with these problems, and uh, I ended up how pretty much housebound for about five years uh well four 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 three 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 to let's say three years probably i was completely housebound and i uh I, I couldn't do i couldn't do anything i could barely go outside even like you know when i when i was with my folks i was living right out in the country and and even driving down to the nearest shop which is like a four minute drive um, I'd be like, I'd be like anxious, I'd be hyperventilating, I'd be, you know, I'd just be so worried about everything, and yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. So this video has gone, already gone on more, because it's so fucking complicated, and people don't, a lot of people don't, you know, know about, uh, thorough problems at all, especially in England, so I always, whenever I explain to people, I always find they, they, they don't understand it, or they don't get it, or whatever. So may maybe there's a few of you out there who have the same issues I am and who can relate. But uh, but yeah, basically, that's why YouTube. Um, there's a lot of worrying grumbles going about on YouTube, and I'm a bit worried, you know, because I'm not, I'm not brilliantly established. I have you wonderful subscribers, you wonderful guys, but I'm not very well established, so it's just like, shit. You know, if YouTube goes tits up gaming wise, I'm kind of screwed because I imagine there's quite a few of you who would, who would come with me if I if I went somewhere and, you know, etc. So I'm kind of panicking right now because I still can't, I can't go out there and get a job. You know, it's been, it's been seven years, yeah, seven eight years since I really had um, five 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 six seven years around that since I actually had a proper job and that was when I was a bouncer um, and you know even even if I even if I could say that I could go and work and it, everything would be fine um, I, 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 I haven't you know I haven't had the same the same kind of experience that everyone else has had I mean my CV is gonna have seven blank fucking years and they're going to be like, what, were you in jail? You know, where were you? And if I actually have to explain, I'm not sure they'll understand. Um, so yeah, if I have to go out and get an actual job, it'll be interesting. And if I do, it will probably be something, you know, bartending once a week or something, you know, like that. So yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what is wrong with Sheepdog. Uh, there is a lot, we all knew it, but... Um, <clears throat> Because because my uh, because my doctor died because Doctor Skinner died, um, and yeah, it's um, it's going to mean that I may not have someone prescribing me, and I may completely go off my medication, which will basically put me back to where I was um, five or six years ago when 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 we found him and when he medicated me. So there is a high possibility. That videos will become more erratic. Um, I may have difficulty getting them out um, on schedule or anything. So I just I wanted to put this video out uh, partly in support of Dan Ball. Give his video a watch. Um, see if see if you can if you have any insights for him. You know um, if you don't you don't. But still give him some love. Give him some some support. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I I did this so that you guys would know. Uh, if things start to go wrong, exactly, well, you know, just, just, just to keep you guys up to date, and, you know, maybe you can have learned a little more about me, as terrifying as that may seem to many people, 
So, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. I will do my best, as always, to keep entertaining you, to keep bringing out videos you enjoy, and uh, I just hope I, I just hope I keep doing it effectively, and I don't fuck it up. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.